Today, we're gonna to look at how to make bass in Studio One. And by make bass, I mean how are we gonna design a bass or choose a bass, and then how are we gonna actually make a bass part. So this is pretty beginner level. I will try not to go too quickly so that you can follow along. And if you find it helpful, hit like and hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. My name is Nick Roller. I'm a producer and a mixing engineer from Perth, Australia. I hope you're doing well. Let's get into it. So I did actually just record this and I didn't properly record it, so I'm doing it again. <laughs> I made this a few weeks ago and I stopped because I got distracted, I think. pad is Analog Lab Pro by Archeria and the Arpeggio is the Mini Freak, also by Archeria. To do, to like actually choose a bass, there's a few options inside of Studio One. You could use something like Mai Tai or Presence. Presence is like a sampler and Mai Tai is a synth. Mai Tai has a bunch of different presets, so you can just kind of pick one and see what it sounds like. That's a bit extreme. So if you just load up the instrument and you come up to the top here, you can see all of the various folders and then inside of that you've got various sounds. So it's pretty handy, you can change a lot of different features. If you jump over to Presence, which has more kind of real world sampled things, it will have probably bass guitar, upright bass, which can be cool if you want that kind of sound. So those are two really good options kind of off the bat. I'm gonna look at Mojito, which is a mono synthesizer. So Mai Tai is a polyphonic synthesizer, I guess, which allows you to play multiple notes at once. This is a single note synthesizer, which is really, it really lends itself to bass. What I'm gonna to do to start is I'm gonna come off to the filter section and I'm gonna roll off the highs with the cutoff. That just gets rid of the highs which sounds pretty good. A bass sound, I don't necessarily always wanna have lots of highs because it's really occupying the lows. I want other things to fill the highs, if that makes sense. There's obviously cases where you want highs in your bass. For this kind of sound that I have in my head, I wanna just roll it off so it's a little bit more subby and kind of filtered. To make it sound kind of evil. <laughs> Next, the FX section, the depth. This is kind of like a chorus, so I'm gonna turn the depth up. And I'm also gonna turn the drive up. There's also Porter, which is glide. So if you turn that up to full, when you jump from one note to the next, it'll glide between the notes. This can be cool, I don't really want that today. Wonderful, we have bass sounds. So next, what I'm gonna do is, these are the chords that I've played in. I'm gonna select it, press Option on Mac, and then drag down to duplicate it. And one really easy way to make a bass if it suits the song and you've got MIDI chords is pull the chords across, mute all of the notes except for the root notes, so hopefully if it's in easy inversions or it's not in inversions. Um, if the bass note is at the bottom of the chord, this is really easy and then we can click play. Now off the bat, that's a little bit too high. So I'm gonna press command A or highlight everything and then shift down to drop the octave. Sounds good. That fills up the low end really nicely. It feels quite epic and big, but maybe that's not the vibe that we want. So what I'm gonna do is click delete and get rid of it. I'm gonna jump back to Mojito. And what I'm gonna do is over in the amp section, I'm gonna reduce the sustain and then I'm gonna reduce the decay. So that's a bit more pokey. That sounds cool. And if you didn't know the chords of the song 
for whatever reason and this works with midi or an audio recording um, it can get a bit funky sometimes with audio but generally pretty good you right click the chords jump to instrument parts and then extract to chord track and then at the top it'll tell us it's a flat minor and f sharp so g sharp minor and f sharp that means that if we create a midi file or we have a keyboard it's this note and this note so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a pattern i'm going to put my metronome on by pressing c and i'm just going to make something happen then i'm going to press command a and d to just duplicate that at the end to change it command a and duplicate it again by pressing d and now i'm just going to press the down arrow twice to drop it to f sharp And then it'll repeat, so I'm just gonna duplicate it again, and now we've got the full progression. Now obviously, this is just the root note, so the bottom note of the chord. We could put in different variations, maybe it goes up on the second note. Or perhaps it's better left for the run at the end. The possibilities here are pretty endless with notes. Uh, theory does come in help, but as far as a bass part goes, you really can just have root notes and it'll be okay. Rhythm is more important, in my opinion, with bass than notes. Like As long as the rhythm is interesting, like that'll do a lot of the talking for you. If you put them together nicely, obviously that's really great, but if you just had interesting rhythm with the root note, you'd be well on your way. Now let's just quickly grab a kick from Splice. Let's try this one. I'm just going to drag it in, wait for it to download. I'm going to do a four to the floor again just by pressing D. I'm just going to duplicate it across the whole space of this progression and then turn it down. I'm just going to highlight it all, zoom in, and then turn it down here. There you go, bass. This is obviously really beginner level. You can get way more complicated with all of the components here, whether that's the notes, the rhythms, the sounds, there's a lot of options, but this is kind of how you make a basic bass line and depending on leveling and other things happening, this would work really well. If you found this helpful, hit like, hit subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you use Studio One, there's a bunch of freebies below, free Studio One presets, there's a free Studio One course, a free vocal mixing cheat sheet. There's a lot of stuff, go check it out. There's also a vocal mixing course, which is not free, but is relatively cheap and that runs you through my whole process, the fundamentals of mixing vocals, as well as real world examples of mixing vocals. So if that sounds interesting, Go check that out. Anyway, hope you had fun. I'll catch you next video. Goodbye.